ACU is on the road again for another Southland Conference matchup. I'm Sharon E. Morosky. And I'm Grant Boone, two of the league's founding members battle in Beaumont. Let's talk some ACU football right now on the Ken Collum Show. Welcome to week six of the Ken Collum Show presented by Lawrence Hall. I'm Grant Boone, joined by ACU senior journalism major Sharon Nemorowski and the head football coach at ACU, Ken Collins. First conference loss of the season last week against the University of Central Arkansas. Coach, you know, the last time you lost a game, you came back and you won two in a row. Losses can be productive, can't they? Well, they better be. If a loss is not productive, then then what are you doing? How are you leading your people? And, and just as, as, as men, we learn more when we get kicked around. It's just kind of the natural thing. And, and that's what we've talked about all week is, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're going to lose. You're going to lose regardless of what it is. This is. We're just talking football here, but you better respond. The, the question is how do you respond from it? And it's going to make you better ultimately. Mm. Coach, this is your second big road trip in a row, um, eight hours to Conway last week, seven hours to Beaumont this week. Do those long bus trips get to your team at all? Uh, no, I would, uh, you would think. So far we, we drive eight hours and we don't play well, but I don't think that had anything to do with it. We had a great evening there in, in Conway when the weather was unbelievable, mm. the, the great atmosphere, great crowd, and uh, we just didn't play well. But, uh, you know, in Beaumont, We've got, uh, this is a business trip, and this is how everybody's uh, approaching it, and I fully expect for us to uh, learn from our mistakes, make the adjustments, kind of look in the mirror a little bit, and, uh, and, and get better. It is reciprocal. Those teams have to come a long way to get to Abilene when you get, to, yes, you get those exactly home games. Right. All right, ACU and Lamar tonight. We'll preview that game a little bit later on, but when we come back, highlights from that game against Central Arkansas last week. It is the Ken Collum Show, presented by Lawrence Hall. Glad you're with us. Back here on the Ken Collins Show, presented by Lawrence Hall. Last Saturday night in Conway, Arkansas, Coach Collins went home to his alma mater and was not treated very hospitably. The Bears of Central Arkansas knocked you off, Coach, 42-14. to 14. Hey, do you care ultimately whether you, you lose by one or you lose by <laughs> a big number? Yeah, you care because you want to you play well and... It, nobody wants to lose a game. And win, winning a game is absolutely critical. That is the number one thing, whether you win by one or you win by 31. And losing is miserable anyway. But you want to you want to put together a product that goes out and plays well. And overall, we we didn't do that. Their their offense that night was better than our defense mm -hmm. by and large, pretty much consistently. And their their defense was better than our offense uh, pretty much consistently. And that's a, you know, that's a recipe for uh, not a good evening if you're an ACU Wildcat. And, uh, you know, it's just interesting that that's the, the, we beat them last year, scored 50-something points on them last year. Well, Missing seven starters. That, that's exactly right. But this year we were missing some critical guys that allowed us to do some things uh, that we couldn't do this year. And uh, so it, it is about personnel and uh, – yeah, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't ever want to lose a game like that again. That, really, that's the first game that anybody has really, since we've been in the league, anybody's ever really gotten out on us. Yeah, and that's that true. We could not answer and did not answer. Some so. teams have gotten out ahead, but you've come back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And that's what fourth quarter every game really that's until right. this and, one. And that's what you expect, and you expect that third quarter. You know what? We've we got some things done. Let's make a run, but we never did. There are also weird things that happen in games, and let let's. But for a second consecutive week, let's talk about the opening kickoff because against Stephen F. Austin at Shotwell a couple of weeks ago, they go pooch kick and Brandon Richmond falls on it, prevents them taking over in great field position. The very first play of the game, the kickoff, what happened? Something weird. Something weird did happen. Normally the wind doesn't blow that bad in Conway, so we brought obviously some West Texas wind with us. So it was a little bit windy. As soon as Zach was kicking the ball, it, start, it begins to fall off the tee, 
Well, instead of just doing the Charlie Brown whiff and not kicking <laughs> it, he kicks it anyway, and, and that was unplanned. We basically squib kick it. The problem is right to a guy, because when you don't squib kick it on purpose, normally it doesn't go where you want, right. and it doesn't bounce the way you want, so they end up in, with a really good field position. And I look at uh, Coach Roboto, he looks at me, and we're just kind of, hey, that, uh, that's kind of the way it happens. An sometimes. ill wind was that's blowing right. that night that's in right. Conway. Uh, first drive for, Con for, for Central Arkansas, two incomplete passes, and then a check down to, uh, I mean, uh, admittedly, a very good running back, especially catching passes out of the backfield, Dominic Thomas. It looked like he had a couple of guys there. Sure, and it was, uh, their quarterback did a good job. We didn't get enough heat on him. He was able to uh, go down to his, probably his number three receiver, and, and which was a running back in the flat, and we, we didn't take, we didn't take proper, it's as simple as this, we didn't take proper angles uh, uh, in order to make a tackle. A linebacker thought he didn't have in, uh, inside help, so he takes a different angle. Well, you don't, you don't do that. And, and, and uh, you know, from the stands it looks like, well, can somebody not tackle him? But when you're, even when you're pursuing the ball, you've got to know where your teammates mm. are, and you have to know what your responsibility is in there. So, yeah, we give them a 50-yard uh, you know, play. Oh, yeah. And a couple of plays later, they punch it in. They go for two. They're a little bit like your team. They, they lined up on every extra point with a split formation, and sometimes they'll go ahead and run it. They did. It was 8 nothing. Coach, you fall behind 32 to nothing in the first half, but while a fan may say, well, that's on the defense, the offense is complicit in that, aren't they? Oh, yeah. You know, the, when you're struggling stopping the run on first down, things are not going to go well. For the most part, you're, you're just not going to go well and because people are going to put together first down. They're going to put together another first down because when it's second and four, you can do anything you want. And the only thing that makes that worse is having an offense that's going three and out and three and out. So what you had was uh, an offense and a defense not functioning not even close to how the, how they should. Not even close to how they functioned the week before against Stephen F. Austin. Mm. And it's just the the ebbs and flows of a season. We're we're already beginning to see some of that. And uh, and that's why this this weekend uh, this weekend's matchup with us and Lamar it'll, it should be interesting. Well, 32 nothing, and yet your team comes back. Cody Ennis, who threw a touchdown pass a few weeks ago, catches a touchdown pass from Parker McKenzie late in the first half. You knew you were getting the ball to start the second half. It's 32-7. Wasn't go a good situation, but starting the second half, you came out and looked like a team that still thought it had a chance to win. You marched down the field on them. That's right. And, and I've been involved in a game where we were ahead of a team 31 to nothing at half and ended up not winning the game simply because everything is based on can you run the football. Mm. And we knew that. We talked about that at halftime. Guys, if you want to get back in this game, take this ball, drive it down, score, get a stop, and then drive it down and score. Now, to win the game, you first have to get back in the game. So that was our goal is hey, let's get back in this thing and see what happens. Put a little pressure on them. You had second and one down near their 20, lose a couple of yards. They've got a great defensive line. Uh, and then on a fourth and three play, uh, unable to connect, look like some contact uh, in the secondary, no whistle, no flag. It took a little bit of momentum out of your sails. But then, Coach, after they pin you back deep, it's amazing to me watching DeAndre Brown now for a season plus four games. Even against a stout front four, like in front seven, really, like, like Central Arkansas has, the guy still finds ways to get yards. That's what good running backs do. You can hem them up. You can drop them for a two-yard gain, zero-yard gain. But sooner or later, if they find some space, they're going to break out. And somebody better tackle him or he's going to score. And they, they did a really good job against him uh, and really against just compressing and, and, and closing down those run, run, running lanes. But uh, ultimately, he's, he's going to get yards. We've just got to get him more. And you need to get him some tonight against Lamar, that's yes. for sure. We'll preview that Lamar game in just a little bit here on the Ken Collins Show. But first, as we go to break, take a look at some scores from around the rest of the Southland Conference. You'll see Incarnate Word with a win over Northwestern State and another kick in the gut loss for those Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. They lose by six in that battle of the Piney Woods to Sam Houston State. Stay with us here on the Ken Collins Show presented by Lawrence Hall. Welcome back to the Ken Collins Show, brought to you by Lawrence Hall. 
I was able to catch up and learn a few things from one of ACU football's most versatile players. A lot of it is just God giving the abilities and uh, growing up from Pee Wee to middle school to high school, uh, I've always been used in different spots on the field. And uh, when I got to my junior college, I was actually recruited for defense. And uh, one practice I decided, you know, I want to give, give it a shot at offense. And uh, I got on scout team and uh, I made a couple plays. And uh, when I got to ACU, they saw both sides of my family. They're like, okay, well, this guy can play both. And they gave me opportunities. So I'm just trying to maximize it. Okay. And speaking of all the opportunities you've had, now that you've played so many different positions, what would you say is your favorite? Uh, <laughs> I would have to say receiver. Um, uh, just being a football player, uh, we all want to score touchdowns, and uh, when you get the ball in your hand, it's just, you get just a big adrenaline rush. I like the hair stand up on your back, and uh, you know, scoring touchdowns is awesome. So, I'll okay. say receiver. How do you use your size to your advantage? Uh, well, I know I'm not the biggest, so uh, you know, I'm just trying to maneuver around guys and kind of use my speed and uh, kind of set guys up, and uh, you know, just run around them. I'm not going to run anybody over, so I just kind of maneuver around. Well, Sad, Sad is a, a big receiver. Uh, we need a, like a, a you know, a bit, real big tough catch uh, in a tight space. We're going to throw it to Sad, and uh, he can use his body to shield guys off. Whereas me, I'm more quick twitch. Quick twitch. I have to move around to kind of make guys miss to get open. Jonathan, lastly, what do you hope to accomplish in your senior year, personally and offense as a whole? Uh, well, offense as a whole, we want to execute the plays that coach gives us, and uh, at the end of the day, we want to outscore our opponents. And uh, as long as we're doing that, then uh, we're good. Um, me as a senior. Um, I just want to go out, just uh, you know, do whatever I can do to help the team win. Put me, put yourself in the game. Mm -hmm. What would they punt it? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? Um, uh, sometimes you get a little bit nervous, uh, but I try to tell myself just to relax. Okay. Because uh, you know you got guys running down trying to take your head off. So the most thing you want to do is just trust your training. Uh -huh. And um, as the ball get in the air, you want to just uh, square up to it. It's kind of like playing okay. center field in baseball. Okay. So you want to square up to it. And as you square up to it, as the ball's in the air, you're looking up. And um, as it's coming down. While everyone else is screaming at you. Right, okay. right, definitely. So uh, as the ball's coming down, I kind of like the, the bread basket technique. You uh, bring both elbows in together. Um, like you just catch it in the middle like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Okay. You ready? I can well, kind of like toss you go. one up. Sure. Uh, there it is. Oh. There it is. Okay. Easy. Okay, I got this. Easy. Let's go. A little bit further? Yes. Okay. Just a bit. Okay, I'm tossing just a little bit higher. As long as I catch it, I feel okay. Right. You got this. You ready? Really, I'm ready. Okay. I'm not ready. You got it? Yes. I'm protected, and I know that, but that's okay. Okay, one last one. One more. One more. One more. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. You got it. You got it. Awesome. One score right? touchdown. Awesome. Easy. You got well, it. Thank you again. Thank you. Epps was awarded second team preseason all Southland Conference honors for the 2015 season. Welcome to this week's James C. Network Sportscast. I'm Hannah Nall. Soccer added two wins to its record this weekend after beating Northwestern State University 2-0 and the University of Central Arkansas 1-0. The Wildcats beat Northwestern State for the third straight time Friday after scoring two goals in the first half. Freshman Dylan Owens started the team out strong, scoring the first goal in the fourth minute of the match. Junior Kate Say scored the other goal of the game in the 42nd minute with an assist from Maria Gomez and Megan Bayer. ACU finished the match with 14 shots and five corners. It only took one goal for the Wildcats to slide past the UCU Bears on Sunday. Gomez recorded a goal from a free kick in the last minute of the first half. Wildcats kept the Bears scoreless for the remainder of the game to improve their record to three wins, one loss, and one tie in conference play. The team was scheduled to face conference opponent Houston Baptist University in Houston on Friday. Women's cross country ran to a second place finish Saturday at the Chili Pepper Festival in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Alexandria Hackett finished third in individual standings with a time of 16 minutes, 36 seconds on the 5K course. Daniel Block led the men's team finishing 76 in the 8K with a time of 25 minutes, 16 seconds. The ACU men finished 14th overall at the meet. After a weekend off, Cross Country will return to Arkansas to compete in the Little Rock Invitational October 17th. Volleyball fell 3-2 against Stephen F. Austin on Saturday, losing a 2-0 lead over the Lady Jacks. Senior Jennifer Lurch led the Wildcats with 15 kills, while senior libero Madison Hoover provided 38 digs in the effort against SFA. The Wildcats faced the University of Incarnate Word at home Tuesday, and here are those scores. 
The team was scheduled to face Lamar on Thursday and will take on Sam Houston State University on Saturday in Moody. I'm Hannah Nall. Back to you, Shara. Thanks, Hannah. Volleyball continues its homestand this weekend. When we come back, we'll preview the Wildcats' second straight road game where they'll take on Lamar in Beaumont. Stay with us on the Ken Collum Show, brought to you by Lawrence Hall. Back here on the Ken Collum Show, presented by Lawrence Hall. Take a look at today's schedule around the Southland Conference. Big game tonight down on the bayou in Lake Charles, Louisiana. McNeese State hosts Southeastern Louisiana in a battle of unbeaten teams in the conference. McNeese is 3-0 in the league. Southeastern Louisiana, after a narrow win over Lamar, is 2-0. Okay, tonight in Beaumont. ACU visits Lamar, a matchup of two of the founding members of the Southland Conference. It'll be the Wildcats' first visit to Beaumont since 1972. The first visit was a good one, 1953, Coach. The Cats trailing the Cardinals 21-13 at halftime. Gene Boyd with a touchdown with a minute 45 to go leads the Cats back. They win it 26-21. You wouldn't mind something like that happening, I know. I'll take it. Hey, Coach Ray Woodard, you know, here's a guy who's Coached some in Europe, NFL Europe. Uh, coached at, at Navarro Junior College. You knew him when he was there. He took over a program that had been disbanded for 20 years. That's not an easy task. And what he's done down there at Beaumont is pretty impressive, I think. What do you yes, think about he, the job he's done? Yeah, they've got very good facilities down there. Yeah, they just, really it always do. starts with that, to, to be able to get top-notch guys. This thing's about recruiting. And they've done a really good job of recruiting. And, uh, you know, the la last year when we played them, we matched up really well with them. Uh, this year, they've, they've upped it a little bit. I mean, they're <laughs> playing really well. Yeah, they and uh, you, look at, you look at their players offensively, defensively, they're very athletic. they got really good size. They're rangy. They can run and tackle. Uh, they're pretty impressive. Yeah. Coach, getting into the game, your defense against their offense, they have one of the best FCS running backs in uh, Cade Harrington. And your defense has struggled stopping the running game sometimes. Is this possibly the most important part of the game for you? I, I think not. It's not the most important. It is the part of the game that we've got to do better at. And uh, stopping the run, you saw it last week. Mm. Uh, what you saw in Conway was an offense uh, of ACU struggle to run the ball. Therefore, it made things, it made everything harder. Uh, you saw an offense in, in Central Arkansas. They could run the ball. First down, they were, they were high, highly successful uh, running the ball on first down, which made everything easier. And if we want a recipe for disaster, we'll go down there and not stop the run mm -hmm. and struggle running the ball. So, we, I mean, we know that. And, and that is the, that's the million-dollar question. Hey, are we going to be able to slow him down? Because he is a quality running back. Now, he fits their system very well with his movements and his, his body style, the way he, way he competes. He does a really good job for them. We've got, we've got to keep him in check, and also we've got to be able to run the ball. When ACU is on offense, Coach Cade Stone last year threw a touchdown pass to Monty Green Avery in the game against Lamar. It gave your team the lead. With this new zone, more of the zone read that you're running, especially when you put Dallas Sealy in, we haven't seen the kind of numbers from Cade Stone, or really, frankly, Jamie Walker in these first four games. Is that a function of, of some of the changes you've, you've made uh, with your offense, or is it just those guys being keyed on by other defenses? Yeah, it's, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, with what we're doing right now, it's not majorly uh, oriented toward what, what Cade Stone, where he lines up. Now, the bottom line is you got to get your guys the ball. Yeah. And we've talked about that all week. We know this. If we throw it to Cade Stone on the move, there's a good chance he's going to be faster than the guy covering him. So. Uh, you know, th we, we've got to do a better job of getting the ball, distributing the ball, not just running our scheme, but using our people. All right. Well, it should be a great game tonight down in Beaumont, Texas. ACU taking on the Lamar Cardinals. The game kicks off at 7 p.m. Lance Fleming and I will have the pregame show for you along the ACU Sports Network at 6.30. Hope you enjoy the game. For Shara and for Coach Collins, I'm Grant Boone. Thanks for watching the Ken Collins Show presented by Lawrence Hall. We'll see you right here next week.